Um, nice 10 point win, 77 67. Talk about the win over New Mexico Highlands. Well, it was, first thing was a hard fought win over New Mexico Highlands. They've come in winning three games in a row. I think the players are playing with a lot of confidence. Uh, we did not play particularly well offensively in the first half. I thought second half we played a lot better. But I was proud of our defense both times. I thought we were out. That was the first year of great defense. I think they shot 37% and guarded. Uh, I thought the second most important thing in the game was our establishment of the inside game of time. Pat Marshall and his uh, challenge would have to be. Challenge is pretty hard, partially about being effective and wanting the ball more, being effective in the points, but it would be great. And I thought he had 15 points in the second half, and I thought he really responded to our personal challenge. Now, talk about uh, going back to Tyrone Marshall's game, uh, 20 points, 9 rebounds, 2 blocks. He really manned the defense for you guys. Uh, talk about what he meant for you guys tonight. First thing, if anybody watched that game, I'm betting he had 5 blocks. He had 2 in the first half, easy. So we probably didn't look at that stat again. But Ty's a great player. He's, got, uh, he's a late bloomer. He's just coming into his own. For the most part, his college career, the most he's ever averaged is 6 points a game. So he's still in his position. Uh, but he's had some dominant games here, and uh, he challenged him with the fact that they're going to be a team that talks about winning any kind of championship. He's got to be a 20 and 10, 20 points, 10 rebounds. I think he's capable. Now, is this, what is this one thing that you really think you'd like to improve on going against uh, tomorrow night? Oh, I'm going to improve my coaching first. I'm going to be a better coach. I'm going to substitute more. I'm going to trust my players a little bit more that way, some of the young kids. And then the second thing is we've got to shoot the ball a little bit more confidence. But other than that, I would tell the kids how to respond in a tough situation. You get behind 10 to 4 in the foul line, 10 fouls to 4 both halves. It's a hard game to play, but I thought we stayed with it. I thought we, I thought we still played hard, and, uh, and that was encouraging. But it's just the first step of a two step weekend, so we'll see what we got for the night. We're here with Jed Knopfel after a 77 67 win over New Mexico Highlands. Uh, Talk about the win and what it means for your ball club right now. Oh, it's a huge win. You know, it's uh, one of those games where if you look at the team's record, it can be very misleading. And uh, like Coach has said, they have uh, a couple of very, very talented players that could start and play significant minutes on any team in the league. And they showed it tonight. They really came to play. And uh, the fact that we kind of kept plugging away, even through um, some rough shooting and uh, some untimely turnovers, we, uh, that, that was big for us. Now talk about the shooting for you. Uh, you started off 3 of three, of 3, it seemed like that you were going to have one of those type of games. Then the entire team struggled from 3. Talk about that and what can be better about that going forward. That's just basketball, man. <laughs> That's just the way. So uh, ups and downs, ups and downs. and. Came out hot. Bronson found me on a couple of them, and that's really what it is for me. Um, I'm at my best when they can find me when I'm open, or at least kind of open. Um, in the second half, I just got a little bit cold. Other guys picked up the slack and made it happen. Now I'll talk about going back to Tyron Marshall and his game. I think the last 10 minutes, he had 12 points, three and ones. Talk about what he meant for this one tonight. He's our workhorse, man. I mean, when. When the game gets tough like that, you, uh, you kind of got to plug it inside there and uh, just live with the results. And he does a great job of getting right to the basket and finishing. And for a guy his size, he's a great free throw shooter. And uh, uh, that was huge for us, not just staying ahead, but you know, extending our lead as we went. It's uh, kind of a quick turnover till tomorrow. Uh... What are some things that kind of sticks into your mind about this game that you think you need to improve on to get a W? Consistency, that's it. That's the name of the game for us.